Hey, Mark Rodriguez here, and we're wrapping up the year now. This is probably the last video of the year, because I might be too busy to make anything between now and then. I mean, we're almost like a day or so away before we kiss 2015 goodbye and start off with 2016. But I do want to thank you all for watching the channel, watching the videos. It's been a fun year. This year, I've actually tried to kind of, I guess, get out of my comfort zone, because for me, like, I like all about fighting games. You know, that's why this channel is so heavily dominated by Street Fighter, King of Fighters, and all that stuff, because that's, that's basically my kind of thing my kind of game and also beat ups like Double Dragon, Final Fight and all their sequels and whatever so that's my kind of thing but now I have slowly gone out of it, um, gone, not out of it but gone like beyond it you should say I played stuff like Dragon Ball Xenoverse, Sacred 3, Dungeon Siege 3, the Five Nights at Freddy's, the whole series I never ever would have touched a survival horror game until I've heard of this and whatever so it's all you know it's all different stuff that you probably were not expecting on this channel because you were probably expecting you know more Street Fighter, more King of Fighters, more Streets of Rage or whatever you know so anyways guys um Year's almost over. If you guys are going to your stores, your malls, your whatevers, all these stores are probably having clearance sales and two for one sales and 50% off and whatever. So me and Paige walked around and I got myself some mini turtle figures. They're based on the classic turtles. It's the original, you know, the 80s version, I should say. The, the four turtles, April O'Neil, Shredder, Splinter, Krang, and the Foot Soldier, and two mysterious figures. One, I believe, is April O'Neil, probably with like a different colored outfit or something. And another one is the Mouser. And this time we're going to do a little differently. Let me just show this real quickly. We're going to do a little differently this time. What we're going to do is I'm going to open up both figures first. And then I'll do like a separate zoom in of both figures. Just to save a little bit of time here and there with editing and all that stuff. Because again, everything is just so busy now with the holidays, the Christmas, the New Year's, all that stuff. So anyways, guys, without further ado and without further BS, let's check them out and see what they are here. So these are actually key rings, but they're very good characters. I saw in the store someone had like a random foot soldier lying around and um, very good detail, very good size, color, everything. You didn't skip out on the sizes. So let's check it out. And the first one we have here is Michelangelo. Yeah, the original Kawabunga dude. And one thing I like about the 80s version is that in the 80s version, Michelangelo was just a Kawabunga surfer dude. Now, I know people like insult, like, that he's kind of dumb and stuff. But maybe if you were to say he, he's probably, maybe I would say the least intelligent of the group. But he wasn't flat out stupid like these newer versions. He's just a cool dude, you know, peeks on stuff. But when stuff got serious, he would take care of it, you know. He wasn't like easily outsmarted or, or things like that, you know? So, I always like Michelangelo. I always like his, his character. And I always do prefer the 80s version. No matter which version of Michelangelo, I would prefer the 80s version. And probably the version from the from the 90s movie. So that's Mikey there. And, now we got the other figure. Let's see who we have here. And we got another turtle here. We got Donatello. Yeah, the brains of the operation. And this is Donatello here. And he's pretty cool. Original dude. Make all kinds of inventions. It's kind of funny because whenever he made, like, useless ones, they would blow up or whatever. But whenever he made, like, the more important ones, like the turtle blimp and all that, a turtle van, those would work just fine. So there we go. So we got two turtles. It's pretty awesome though, but personally, I mean, yeah, the turtles are cool and all, but I would have liked to have gotten some little, you know, like the Shredder, April O'Neil, or something, or maybe that mysterious figure, see what else it is. But anyways, guys, I'm going to show the close-up real quickly and wrap the video up. Let's check them out, close-up, and, you know, up close, live, and in person. All right, so here we got Mikey and Donatello. They're all cutesy wootsy smiling and stuff. They got very good detail, colors. They didn't skip out on the colors because a lot of times these figures... They do stupid things like they're all green or whatever just because they don't want to give good details. But um, yeah, good colors on the belts, the shell detail, the bandanas and everything. And um, not much really to show, not much anything special under or nothing like that. And of course, you got the famous nunchucks there that later became censored to a grappling hook for whatever reason. And yeah, I know, it's because the UK and stuff. I just don't really know why it became an issue for, for us in America, that's the thing. But anyways, Donatello's here, also looking cutesy wootsy he's got his bow staff, although he's like bending his bow staff over his shell like that, and I'm sure that would snap on you, Donnie, but whatever. And, you know, same shell detail and all that stuff. Not much different, because of course, all four turtles always did look the same, basically, just different colors. It would have been different if it was like some of the other figures. Just to show you real quickly, like I said, um, 
You got the Turtles, of course. You got April O'Neil here. You got um, the Shredder, Master Splinter, Krang, and the Foot Soldier. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is just April with a different colored outfit. Maybe it would have been blue to kind of mention how the Mirage Comics outfit was blue. Because, yes, in the Mirage Comics, April did wear a jumpsuit when she was a scientist. And the cartoon, like, adapted that jumpsuit into, like, I guess, news reporter clothing. I don't know. And this is obviously a mouser. For anyone who's seen the mousers, that, that's definitely a mouser. But, yeah, so these are the figures here. They're all pretty cool. They were actually half off. So, basically speaking, it's like I bought, like, two for the price of one, you know. So, anyways, guys, wraps up this video. Hope you guys like these figures. They're pretty cool. They're pretty good size. They got a little bit of weight to them and everything. They're not, they're not like, hollow or anything. So, um... Yeah, if you see them in your store or whatever, check them out. And if you're lucky enough to go in some kind of store or some place where everything's like two for one or whatever, then by all means, go for it now before the holiday stuff ends. So anyways, guys, this is the end of this video here. And maybe I'll get more turtle figures and stuff for other future episodes. Not and not, not many new figures have come out. I got a couple still in their packages, but we'll see as time goes on. Anyways, guys, see you all next time. And if I don't have time to make another video before this, Happy New Year's and see you all in 2016. Yeah.